Hey guys, Hector here. I'm going to show you how to do the remote start on the Infinity. Uh, you guys have been asking me like crazy to show this mod. So this is the remote start uh, module here that I ordered. Uh, I'll, I'll include links in the description. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. This is the one I'm using. It is important to buy the one that says activated. Um, again, I'll, I'll give you a direct link in the description for it. You're going to need for this install a flashlight, a 10 millimeter uh, socket wrench, pair of scissors, electric, electrical tape, OEM key fob, a blade, flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and a test light. Now this is a cheap test light. This is about six dollars or five, five bucks from Harbor Freight. Okay, so first things first, we need to remove this cover here. So it just pops off when you grab it down here. There is a we're gonna put that down there. So this hood latch has a couple couple bolts there. I think they're 10 millimeter. But you could get a um, Phillips screwdriver and take that off. Okay, now that the latch is off, we're just gonna take it to the side. And what we want to remove is this this lower panel here because um, we're going to need to get access to some other wires. And so to take this off, uh, it clips on here. So you see, I just pulled it off ever so gently. Uh, there you go. What you guys want to do is remove these four bolts. 10 millimeter bolts holding this uh, bracket in place. So now with the plate off, you're going to want to take off that clip. And that is holding the push button start. Uh, we're gonna need to tap into uh, a wire. Now that the plug is off, you're going to see this is going to be wrapped in this uh, black cover. And so you're going to want to cut that off. Um, from all these wires, you're going to want to tap into the, the brown wire that's right over the black wire. Okay, and it's gonna say right here, start button. Connect to start button. So connect that wire, strip it a little bit, and cover it with electrical tape. And then we're going to zip tie it um, to this so it's nice and secure, and wrap it up in electrical tape so it stays nice and uh, snug. All right guys, now that you connected the remote start you're going to need to tap into the diagnostic plug that comes um, underneath the panel here so this white plug here goes situated right there it's a t-harness so go ahead and make those connections the next connection after that is going to be the brake connection and if you t look at the brake uh, follow it it's this line right here in my car it's brown um, it's way let's see there you go it's right there so go ahead and connect the the T harness there after that the next connection that you want to make is right here and it is where 
the key, um, uh, I don't know, dock goes, and you can see it right here. So you want to tap into, it says Continental on it, into that plug, okay? Make those connections, and I'll see you in a minute. So after we make the, the connections um, and put uh, all the harnesses together, uh, you want to put back the push to start um, connection uh, before you put this panel back on. It's a lot easier if you put it uh, reconnected and then put this back on. Trust me, I spent 15 minutes trying to do it um, before I decided to to back out. So the instruction manual that comes with the unit shows you how to program the unit to your to your car and to your fob. I'm not going to go through that because my unit, um, since I've had it for four years, it's already programmed. So now what we have to do is we have to tap into this this fuse panel down here okay and so we're gonna remove we're gonna remove, remove this and this panel here so first take off the cover there's usually uh, a bolt or a screw here um, so from oh there it is you see it So we want to take this off. Uh, so there we go. So that's the naps off. Got a wire there. Okay. So to connect this wire into the optional parking light. We want to locate this red wire here, okay? That's going to be the, the parking lights. You could verify it by grabbing this tool, which I picked up at Harbor Freight, connected it, connecting it here to this bolt, which is ground, shoving this into where the red wire is okay and to verify that that is the correct connection i am going to turn on the parking light and when it lights up it's verified that that is the parking light so now i'm going to turn it off the parking light and make the connection right here to that red wire so next what you want to do is you want to take off this panel okay you want to take this off and this lets you know that the door um, is opened or not so in the event that you hit the auto start by accident uh, or on purpose and you're not able to come out to the car um, if it doesn't sense that the door has been opened it will automatically shut off um, and turn off your lights otherwise you'll come out and have a dead battery um, so again with this tool we need to find this wire which will automatically if I'm going to touch it with this pin like so it'll turn on the dome lights okay so we want to find it in here now you could try to find it by color and you'll see here I think I already found it um, the lights are off inside the car and with this tool if I prick it, there we go. So that is the wire we want to tap into with the 
wire that says auto shut down. Okay. All right. So this is for the dome light. You can see I put electrical tape on it, zip tied it. Uh, it's really important not to leave wires exposed. I've seen so many cars um, uh, catch fire because of bad connection. So go ahead and tape them up. And you want to put this bad boy here back on. Do not forget to do this because if you close your door and you forgot to screw this back on, you will break this. And this is OEM only. So, I'm warning you now. All right, so before we wrap up, I'm um, demonstrated. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more videos like this. Um, you know, hit the thumbs up, all that good stuff. So, all the panels are back in place. Um, make sure again this is back on. Gonna lock the door and remote started. Gonna hit three times the lock button. And see the car start. Gonna hit it three more times to turn it off. One, two, three. Car turns off and the lights turn off. That's it. So again, if you guys like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks.